Good evening, everybody, and once again, welcome back in today's class. Okay. Yesterday we discussed about the concept of the table. Okay, we discussed about the concept of the table, and we see that I can create a table. I can create a fields, and then I can design on the form. Okay, but that was only. We we discuss what uh, that what we discussed yesterday basically that was only and only <clears throat> when I did not extend or I did not use any table to create my table. <clears throat> okay, so now what will happen now? Today we are going to create a new table, and we will going to be extend or we are going to be use some base other table. Again, I put the same point. That using or not using the other table, it depend on the business case or the use case. Okay, in a lot of places, I found that <clears throat> many of the customer when they create the custom table, they did not extend it from any table, any other table. They said, "No, no, I want it as a standalone only." I still did not get why, but <clears throat> it's their it's their business case or their use case only. I said, "That's fine. It's totally totally up." Okay, putting on mute, uh, Aris. Okay. Now, when we when we extend it, so like let's say, we when we were the kids, we get a lot of things from our parents. Not in the sense of the property only. <clears throat> Knowledge, color, thoughts, way of talking, standing, good senses, good of humor as well. Making good things, creativity kind of things, we get it. It means if I am going to be create my table with the support of the other table, I am getting all the things which are related to that particular table <coughs> in my table as well. Now, what are the all all the things? Means if in the parent table there are some UI policies, if in parent table there are some UI Maybe actions or the business logic or the business rules that also I am going to be use it. Maybe that is the one of the reason that a lot of customer did not promote to extend from the other tables because we have to make a lot of changes in that area. <clears throat> so now I'll go here <clears throat> and I'll we'll create a new table now. and click on the system table here. Click on the new same thing. No, nothing, nothing new we're going to be discussed here, but same thing. Oh my God, who did this part? Come on, who did this part here? Uh, let me go and change the view from here. Maybe the view has been changed. No, it's a default view. Let's say new. No, someone see someone that did something. Let me see who did. Maybe we need to go to the logs only. Oh, let I'm on the wrong place. It's on the tables. Let's say table and column. Not uh, okay. Let's say create table. Same thing. Something done <clears throat> done on that, but let me go and check on the configure and the form layout. Table created new accessible. Tell me who did who did this part? I'll not say. Yeah, not me either. Ah. Because now we're not able to create a table here. I'm not getting any table creation option. And uh, let's see if we can I can restore something. Let me go in the table and change it to the view as a default view <coughs> and click on the new. Because these are coming. I you know what I created a group and I uh, added you as a manager there. But I don't think that will affect here because I didn't touch the rules. 
like we had an exercise right to do mm -hmm. some roles and uh, groups and test it so i just randomly created two uh, groups right. and uh, on the manager column i gave your name that's all but i don't think that will affect here no that, that's that's fine but something someone has done something here acl mm -hmm. access even though this will be appearing fine but why this is coming is extended here okay let me try this let's say table let is a lng one two u i'm not able to make it mm -hmm. let me go and configure dictionary <coughs> save okay ठीक है दैट दैट्स फाइन गाइस दैट्स डू नथिंग टू बी वरी ऑन दैट पार्ट सिस्टम डेफिनेशन एंड क्लिक ऑन द न्यू हम इसे भी काम चला लेंगे अपना ओके सो लेट्स से टेबल नेम इज बैच 12 एंड नाउ इफ आई पुट अदर टेबल लेट्स से आई वांट टू बी एक्सटेंड आई वांट टू क्रिएट माय टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द टास्क टेबल एंड व्हेन आई क्लिक ऑन द सेव हियर now what will happen so if you see total 74 fields are there now let me open the tables <clears throat> and open the task table here because this is what i want to be show you task table has 73 fields now tell me what is the what is the 74th field why it is be there in my table <clears throat> tell me guys why it is there on my table i don't know come on how you can say you are representing your company in front of the million billion dollar customer these are the field including the field headers but why there is a 74 in the task it's a 73 mm. okay now let us go 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 baapier open remaining all are displayed see it is 74 it is 73 one table task table is here open task table is there this is task table i have a question that in the task table i have a 73 fields but in the my table which i created with the support of the task table okay it has a <coughs> 74 field the one field which is with there okay I, i'll tell you that how to get that information now okay let's say i extended or i created my table from the task table <clears throat> i am not aware that from where this particular field is coming you can say atul go in the task table and see but maybe in the task table it is coming from other table so what we can do click here and put the table name so now you can see that these fields are coming from the task table but go to next task table everything is coming from the task table okay <clears throat> go to next task table task table yes see this is not coming from the task table so this particular record is for my current table sys id and this is coming from the task table sys id it means if you extend if you create a table from any other tab can a table you are getting two sys id one for the parent and one for the child <clears throat> and now you can verify that okay all these fields are coming from the task table only this is what we need to be understand here that when i when i'm extending it so i'm getting it not so that is i say that it depend sometime it depend 
on the case to case customers to customer that shall we extend or shall we create a table from the other table extension or shall we not do anything at all in that particular part okay <clears throat> that is the number one part now if you scroll down here let's say created by okay okay we don't have any option for the menu as well let's see did we get any menu it did not ask for this thing right okay let's go and add the form layout form design no problem if anybody done that's fine okay show in menu <coughs> let me put it here okay and what's the other name module module is not there okay so okay let's see what it will be showing save and come back here and reload okay now it's becoming now our table is already already getting created so it's not showing so now let's do one thing let's get another table tables click new now i'm getting option so things are fine okay let's say that you you want to extend i want let's say i want to be extend from the <coughs> cmdb table now this one create a new module yes under which create in the lng only and grow together i don't want to get a new menu under that only create this module <coughs> add module to menu under this now click on the same <clears throat> now if you go here <clears throat> learn and grow you can see best value also there and now if you open it you can see a good list layout why because as i say if you are inheriting if you are taking any other table Uh, to create your own table, then you are getting the properties from that as as well. So this the table which we use now, CMDB. They have a this as a default layout, and if you click on the new, <coughs> you have a good form as well. Now, Jyoti has a question. Atul, we did not create this. Yes, you did not create this, but remember, we as a child get the genes from our parents itself we as we as a child we get the religion religious mother tongue thoughts senses from our parents itself this is what it is showing here that is another reason that that is another reason that customer did not promote or customer did not want to be extend from other table because now removing is too much hectic work instead of doing the new table creation Okay, so this is what I want to be sure. Now, if you see, go to column 47, and if you open the CMDB table, you will find 46 records here. Okay, so now you can see all are the coming from the best 12. What's coming from the best 12? Okay, hmm? best 12 only. Ah, okay. Everything is best well. It's like why this happening? In the task table, I got all the tasks, but now I am getting the best well. Maybe maybe CMDB has some other other uh, property something. Okay. <clears throat> now, what is the next point? Whenever we create a table, either you extending it or not. So going forward, I will not say that I am using any other table. I am saying extend table. Are you extending it or not? We get controls as well. What this control says that do you want that someone else can use your table? Do you want that your kids can use your property? If say yes, it means 
Now this table also available under this particular section for the new table. Try this today at your at your side. OK, that is the number one part. If you untick generally, generally if I am creating a custom table, I never mark it as a X extendable because I don't want it should be used by any other anybody else. So better this thing, but for our practice, we will be using this part. Life so, it means okay. good, good. Uh, yeah, uh, what about the global? What is the difference in global and this one then? Global is a complete application scoping. This is that you want to allow someone to use or not. OK, I can you go back to the other tab created by because um, this one, right? Yeah, yeah that one. OK, this is this is saying the application global means anybody if anybody or uh, anywhere I want to be used this table I can use. But this particular saying that can I use or can I can I allow someone to use this table to create his or her own table as well? I don't want that part. Correct. Yeah. Okay, that is the thing. Live feed means if you enable this in case any updates happen on this table records, you get the pop-ups. Oh, sorry, you get the messages kind of things. Okay. The main point which is important. Let me go here and <clears throat> open an incident table. Create new. So now did you notice? <clears throat> okay, yes. No problem. Did you notice the number has been coming? This is called the auto number generation, or this is called the number maintenance. Every table has only one auto number. You can see the tick box here. You can put the prefix. I can see the prefix. Hello. You can say how many reference numbers should be 1000, 10,000. I say start from the 10. And how many digits should be there? I said should be. Up to you. You want to put, but generally we use 1007. I tell you one example. One of my customers says, and it and it is a very real, very real example. One of my customers says, Abdul, I want to be increase this number <clears throat> from reference thousand. I want to decrease this thousand to one ten, and I want to increase the reference digit from seven to ten. I said, okay, I can do two minutes job. <clears throat> he said, okay. I go to my architect. He said, um, I told to my architect that boss, this is a new requirement came. Shall we proceed? He said, what is the business need? I go back to my customer. That boss, what is the business need? He says, I am thinking when the last record will be generated, what will happen after that? I'm impressed. Wow, he's thinking for a long vision. I come back to my architect and say the same thing. My my architect says, OK, let's do a calculation. If let's take in a single day. Total. 1000 or, or let's say 500 incidents get created in a single day. Then you can see that how many incidents get created if I put 1000 and the seven. I said it will be going the millions. He said yes. Then why he need it immediately? When this will be near to that part, we will update, but not immediately. So be careful on that part. Definitely, it's it's a valid ask. I'm not saying it's not a valid ask. It's, it <clears throat> is a valid ask. But do you need to be do that ask now itself? That is important. So we reject his story. That was. It take minimum 10 to 12 years minimum. To reach up to the last record. We have a lot of time and nothing to be worried on that part immediately, so we rejected that story. <clears throat> OK, now if I click on save. <clears throat> and if I go here, OK, go here and open the batch. OK. Yeah, yeah, and click on the new. There's a no number field. Yeah, 
I need to be add loop. Wait, let me add this. Mm -hmm. Nice. No number. OK, this is here. Save it. So now this is my number is coming. The same thing you can do from the this part. Search for the number maintenance. Same thing you can do from here. But <clears throat> on a single table, only one number will work. If you say Atul, I have a five different modules and need a five different numbers, not possible. On a single WhatsApp, you cannot call five different person in a one time except the group call. So same concept here. Another point. Now this is your table. Yes, it's my table. <clears throat> then you are the admin. Yes, I am the admin. Service now say boss, if it is your table, so I am giving you a by default role as well. You did not create this has been created on the basis of table name underscore user has been come at the last. This one. Now here we can say something. If you are in a capacity <clears throat> and you think that I don't want anybody else to touch this table, then keep the same user role. If you want, if you don't know, anybody can use and better to be have standard rule, then you can replace with the admin. That is totally up to you. See, it's saying you are changing the rule, but, but before that, I want to be show you something. Okay, that is the first part. Second part, if you notice the scroll down, these four ACL, that is called the access control list, has been created by service now, and this is called the curd operation. C U R D. Create, update, read, and delete. Generally, we write delete, uh, write ki jagah update hota basically, but we call it as a curd operation. C U R D. These four ACLs has been created by service now that if anybody has this rule, then they can access this particular table. Otherwise, they cannot access other than the admin. We will we will discuss this in a in a depth. Okay. Label that this is what the label its name. U underscore bash 12 English label is this. This you want to make a change, you can make a change here. Double click and remove S. Database indexes, literally no idea. Table subscription that let's say I want to subscribe this table. If anybody update anything, I should get an email. So I have to be subscribed this. So by default, it's going as a not applicable. Now being an admin, you can delete the table and you can delete the records as well. But 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 it is a humble request. Don't perform any delete operation, at least on the out of the box tables. OK, don't don't perform this activity at least. Otherwise, I have to be reset my instance only. OK, now if you click on the schema. OK, let me save this. <clears throat> Show schema. So this is my table. This is my base table. Extended from which extended and there's a no extension table. Let me show the reference table. Because the field I'm using, it's coming from the other table. So you can see it's coming from these table. As said, base item, all these things are there. Referencing tables. I have a, these things only. So these things we can do here. OK. Now what next on that part? Generally, I cover that topic. A later on, not not immediately, but I want to be discuss it now itself. OK, and I got confused number of times in that in that uh, topic. OK, let's say I have a table here. Or LNG, let's say my LNG table. OK. 
this is my table okay i know that i am i did not use any other table okay let me let me take this a batch trial only that will be more good then because i can show you something on that part chandra's code okay this one let's say i created my table with the extended table base configuration item okay in this particular table if i open the record let me show you here i have these many fields okay if i see that these are not mandatory but i want to make it mandatory then what i will do then what should i do configure that field configure that field that field where can you right click on that where to configure uh configure dictionary dictionary to already hai i don't know i i think you can do like that click on that and it will take you there to that particular attribute of that uh, field and then there's a checkbox you are you are on the right but on the right track but let me change that wording actually okay we need to make a change in the dictionary but the problem is that i cannot make a change on the parent table because if i make any changes on this table then every other places where this table has been used changes will be reflecting okay so what i have to do i have to be do some changes on my own table okay i have to do the changes on my on table and this concept is called the dictionary override this concept is called the dictionary override okay and dictionary override basically is used when you want to override the features of the parent table let me see if i have a dictionary override here dictionary entries not not okay let me come here let come here and search for the dictionary override okay basically dictionary override work on the table where you want to make a change let's say what is the table what is the field here serial underscore number okay or let's say checked in that is easy to be do that part i'll go and search for the column checked in okay we is checked in this one no but this table is little different so i am on the table of the cmdb cmdb checked in checked in checked in oh my god it's too much yaar what is the table it's i need to be pick up the table our cost center because 14000 is too much let me say checked in like this only show matching and instead of this i need to be this cmdb and this name contains nahi name column name checked in table start nahi bhai nahi start nahi this one so this is that place where i want to be make a change now open this and here you will find this dictionary override open this as of now nobody done changes for this for, uh, in this particular table for this particular field checked in field so i click on the new because on the first one who is going to make a change it says boss you are using this particular field it is coming from this particular table 
on which table you want to use. I want to use on the batch underscore 12. This one, yes. What you want to do? Do you want to overwrite the reference qualifier? Means earlier it was pointing to user table, but I want to point to the group table. Number one, you want to overwrite the dependent. Maybe it was dependent on X, but I want to make it on a Y. You want to overwrite some attributes, some kind of a, uh, I can say the label kind of things you want to be override. Because let's say I want, instead of the check in, I want please check in or check hyphen in. It's a change. So you can do these things via dictionary entries. I want to make it mandatory. Okay, and now I click on the submit. Let's see what happened now. Go here, reload this page. Are, gaya ye? Why it's not becoming a mandatory? Yaar? The reason I'm saying that this this topic I always I always hate. I always hate. Let me open this and see. Override mandatory, even though it was not mandatory earlier. Okay, sorry, override mandatory. Yes, I want to make it mandatory now. This is what we forget. Sorry. Update. Now let's end reload this. So now you can see this become mandatory. It means if you want to change a behavior of a field which is coming from the parent table, you need to be use the dictionary override, but again, not too much. Generally, we dictionary override use mainly for the label name changes or making it as mandatory to the read only. We never use dictionary override to make a reference changes kind of things so or the dependent value. Because if you're doing this, it means we are be something will be, uh, be making a little um, um, tough task for us. OK, so this is the concept which come from the dictionary override perspective. Now, if you want to see, let me let me go here and scroll go back and let's say incident table and let's remove this so i have these many fields on the incident table okay let me show matching let's say i want to make a change of subcategory or let's say caller ID. There is nothing. OK, let go to the task because maybe this is coming from the task table. Hmm. Now let's see this thing. OK, because task is the table which has been used by the multiple tables like incident, change and problem, they use this particular part. Now I want to go on the, which one I should pick up? Do we have the caller? No, we don't have a caller here. Okay, I want to pick up one which I can show you a good example. Correlation, okay, let's say state. But state is already okay. Let's let's say state. So now you can see state has been overwritten in 10 tables. Where where I am using the task table and I want to be modify the this thing. This particular field, let's say change request. What they are doing? They are saying that override the attribute. By default, or they should want to show only these attributes: work state minus five, close state three, four, seven, like this. By default, it should be minus five. It means it's a new. If you click on the mandatory and this, now we are again overwriting it. Okay, so these things can be doable via dictionary entries. But again, if you notice that they are not changing a lot of things, they are just changing a limited which they want. And maybe you have some calculation. You can calculation override as well. You want to change some reference qualifier. You can change as well. 
let's say user because it's it's a different type, so maybe it's not work for us. But let's save this and go here and raise the change underscore request. And now if I click on this, so you can see state become mandatory. It's not getting a reference because it is not the integer type. But you can see it become mandatory why we have override it. So it's a default. It should be minus five state three four seven. Let I don't want to show this this thing. Let's save. Let's reload. Okay. What I mean, why it's not be picking up? Close state. This default is three. Maybe they have some structure to be do that part. Maybe I can say four. If it is be there. No, it's not working. Maybe something else we have to make a changes, guys. But this is a place where you can do your changes for the child table, but you are changing the behavior of the parent table. Clear everybody any doubt? No. Okay. Now let's come to the last point. For this particular discussion part. I click on this. It open a form. All right, it open a form. I click on this. Mm, it's open a list view. From where these are coming. And what they called. Let me show you here. Now let's say I have a learn and grow, right? These are coming from the modules and click on this module here. That was the table or application. This is a module. Same thing, but Few things has been different here. Number one, it has this order in which on order is a field which play a very vital role in service now. Order is used to define a sequencing on the form. Order is used to define the choice listed in a form in a drop down. Order is used to execute the logics in a sequence. Okay. And like we have our our these things, um, um, the um, applications, the same thing is applicable for the module as well. This is the role. If you want to override something, you can put the override as well. Main thing which we need to be discussed is called the link type. This is the place which define that in which format your let's say if I say here best 12 open the new window your form will be open by default. So total 10 or only 5 or 10 or approximately are the link types are available. This is what your homework now. Create one or two table extend from the other tables, create five or seven different different modules and try the different different link type. Generally we use list of record and it is gone. Create record. New record and now if I save this. And I go here and. Open this. OK, it's coming from cache. See now I'm going on the new form, so this link type decide everything for me. You will be surprised to know that there are 
customers who are in this taxis or the cab services and using service now as a front end i did not work but i work for a, for a company where we have this that client as well so on the mobile app you see oh i am here i want to be go here how it come see we have a map as well which map you want to show something called asia no global okay let's say all locations and update now go here your map is here this map has been used for the major incident management specifically and this map you used when you want to book a cab on the mobile phone see we are here somewhere right and you i want to be changed <clears throat> I want whenever user open this, they should get a search screen. And you want, and also, you can decide that on which particular, <clears throat> what I can say, link type of view should be available. So, like if I go here, let's say I change the view. Let me save here first. Okay. And save. And now I change the view. Okay, one view is there. If I change the view, I don't want to show these things. Or when a, when a user open <clears throat> in that view, he should be able to see something different. So you can put it here. List of records. Run a report. Which report you want to run? I want to, let's say I want to run a report. Do you have any, any report available? Okay, no report has been created, so let me save just save this. And now go here. Learn it, open it. And now you can see it's landing me on the report view. See. This is what happened, nothing else. Now if I if I show you this thing go to here report and if i click on the create new this is only happening so it's not magic it is all configuration this is what is your homework now try minimum to minimum <clears throat> at least how intense are there try 10 module with the 10 <clears throat> different things maybe something required the url argument i want it to be open like this. Let's say maybe google.com and even window name I said LNG. Let's see. I, I'm not sure that it, it will work or not, but let's see. Now I'll go here. Okay. It did not find google.com is because it required some some direct linking in the service and then it will open that pages. But you can check that part. I want to do some timeline pages. <clears throat> Any timeline I have, I have change schedule and save. Click here, learn, open this. So I get this timeline page. So only simply up to you. Nothing else is there, nothing else. Totally up to you and again, don't ask that what we should use. It's totally depend on your customer requirement and your case, which they want to be used, how they want to show the data. Maybe I can say the search screen. Okay, this is what we've done. For a report, map, list record, list filter. Let's see. Go here, learn. See, it's showing as like this. Everything is showing. List filter, nothing is showing because we did not define anything in which view and in which filter I should be able to see. Let's say. Variety. 
Oh, oh. Gender is male and same. So now, as there's no record which say gender male, so from here, the default list is coming. So you should know that when I when I when you go here, incident, and you click on the result. See, from where this is becoming. If you go here and open this incident result and click here. It is coming from this and the state is resolved. Simple. Only thing is that you have to be do not troubleshooting on that part. Clear everybody. Any doubt? Any question? No. Kima, Kalda, and uh, Jyoti. Yes. Yes, for what? It's clear or not clear? It's clear for now, sir. Clear now, good. So now you need to be understand that it is a journey, and you have to be make sure that you understand step by step by step by step. Okay. Now let me see what is left here for the discussion. We have done this table, form, related list, schema. We discuss attribute field properties. Okay. Field properties. OK, let me come here for, for a quick check. Hmm. Even though we discussed already this part, let me see. See, if I click on this table, I'm getting a list view. Let's say table here. And I am going on the. Learn and grow. Now, what what do you mean by the field? Uh, this thing properties mean the column which I created. I'm talking about these things. Let's say I created currency. So number one, on the type of, oh, oh sorry, on the data type of your field, these things vary. So if I make a change from Internal type concept to choice. <clears throat> then these things or maybe the choice list will be there. So what we did yesterday on the choices part you can do here as well. Language sequence inactive and all the things will be there. This is what basically here and these things like you can made you can make that field read only. It means nobody can change, but every, uh, anybody can see mandatory that without saving this you cannot proceed for the display only and only for display no action is required on that particular part that is the meaning of the display here or let's see what else it say yeah declare the assessment field only okay this is what about this field properties only okay now one thing which i added first time and that is called the formatter it is it is part of this tables only so that everything will be done in a in a in a one go OK. Matter in service now. OK. What this formatter says. Basically, and why, why I pick up this topic? Because when I was preparing for my ITSM exam, then I found this term in that particular training session that there is a concept called the formatter. I was not aware much of this concept, so I thought let me add it here. OK, so formatter is basically an element that is used to display the information that is not on the. Field. This is what called the formatter for us. OK. This is called the formatter. Let's see or what, what I can say. The format is a form element used to display information that is not on a field in the record. Add formatters to form by configuring the form itself. Now, first of all, let's come here and see what is formatter. Do we have any formatter available? 
Okay, we have the formatters available. See. Okay, what I'll do, I'll go and click on the configure and it says go to form layout, right? May it say the same thing. Configure the form. Okay, same thing we can do. Do we have any formatter here? You can see this is a formatter. This. It means this is my formatter. This complete picture. And it has a syncing with the states. So now if I go here, I can see this is my formatter. As of now, 125 format has been given by service now. Let's say anything on the chain table. Yes. So we have a conflict check progress process flow. This is the formatter for me. Open this. Because if you go here and right click configure form layout, this is what my formatter process flow because I am activated. I guess this this thing um, uh, utility. So it's showing me the C IDs as well. This is what my formatter. Let me remove this formatter. OK and save. And let's see what happened. Hope oh, what I'm expecting. Yes. So your formatter has been gone. So you can create your own formatter as well. OK, but it is becoming from some XML file. Again, XML means something of HTML, CSS will be added only then it will be coming here. OK, now if I go back and let's say something on the incident. And someone called this as a breadcrumb as well. This thing called the breadcrumbs. If I add the format, it's called the breadcrumb, but practically or service now world, it says the it is a formatter. So this now if I click on the formatter and a new, I have to put the some XML file here and on which I want to be at. Let's say LNG on which table I want to put. I want to put LNG underscore batch 12 and let's say I want to put the process underscore flow dot XML. Semi component. I have no aware that what is this? Maybe let's see three, six and three. What happened? And save. And let's go to our batch 12. But first of all, we have to make a change in the module. Because the link type is list based I need to be at the let's say I want to be at the new record. Uh, where it is gone, create new record, new record and save. And let's see if it work for us or not. I have no guarantee, but because it's required some other um, coding as well. And it's still seeking the same thing. Still, I give one homework as well. No, it's not picking up the formatter. It means the formatter which we which we created on this table. LNG it's not be working. Something is wrong with this particular formatter. So, but from the examination perspective of the ITSM, we should know that what is formatter. It is basically to display the value which is not on the form. This is what. Or maybe hidden somewhere you want to put that kind of a formats here. Like activity format and display the list of activity or history on a task form. Process flow, parent, breadcrumb, approval. These are the types of the formatter. OK, and then we can use it and we can create in our system. So now if we say let me go here. Formatter. Click here. And you can see almost everything is XML only. Almost ending with XML. Attach this and that. Task table attached article. If you want to see, go to the task table. 
create a, create a task, create a record in the task table directly, and then see what is between this attached knowledge. Maybe if I go here, uh, incident table. Let's try one more thing. Sometime in, in the training now, I, I tried as well. I guess this is the formatter and let's see. Uh, they say it is a formatter attached knowledge. No, this is a formatter. Let's bring on the top to see that what it do actually. See, it is not there. It means some, something is there, but we're not, not able to find out that where, what is doing basically as of now, that attached formatter. Okay. Okay. Coming back here. Question, clarification, doubts, so that I can give you the homework now. Nothing. Jyoti, Kalada, Hema. Okay. So now what is the homework for you guys? Create five tables, two or three without extent, two or three with extent. Create minimum 10 modules and try the different different link types try to add different different formatters just copy paste the code and try to do at your side okay and also try to find out and literally i have no idea no answer of this part you see this filter is coming this word filter right yes or no Yep. From where it is becoming. I want to change filter to I want to put my name LNG. Not the filter. The system UI config. I have no idea. You have to find out. Oh, OK. OK. And also, I guess someone asked yesterday, Atul, um, um, how we check update sets. Now I have a sufficient to be show you. Let's go here. Local update set. Where is my update set? This is my update set. Open it. Till the date, I have 98 changes done in this instance. Everything has been captured. Application menu, module, dictionary, override, dictionary, these things. You can see field labor, which we done yesterday. See. And I can find out that who make these changes on that uh, sys db object table. I can easily find out because I have to be just go to the update set of that particular person. So who created? Let's see. Created by admin Jyoti. If I open Jyoti's one. I can see 38 changes she done. Table mark list, mark list, mark list, mark list. Okay, no, she not done anything. Let's see. Jyoti is Amber. Okay. See, she makes some change in the form layout. She makes a change in the style. She makes a change in the dictionary. If you want to see, open. I'm not pointing, but I want to be want to be show you something. We can see that what she have done. I'm not able to find out from here, but she changed the form layout. And this is nothing or compared to the current. This is selected version. This is the current version. I can check what has been changed. So with the help of the update set and also who have done its good use case. Because whenever we move the update sets, we have to make sure 
unnecessary stuff did not get captured. Now what will happen if I move this update set to another instance? In that instance, how the format get changed? See, caption is null. Someone put this caption. That's fine. I'm I'm not I'm not pointing. I'm not blaming. I'm encouraging this a use case. It is a good use case. You are doing something. That's fine. Happy I'm I'm happy on that part. But it is a learning as well. Being a developer, if you are moving or capturing anything before you commit your update set, make sure you check that what has been captured in that update set. So now I can see these three only. Arus did not start it and Hima did not start it. The work till now. Otherwise, their updates are also be there. OK. Good. So now you have to do these particular things. Do this exercise and let me take a quick attendance now. Any last question before I close the recording? No. Okay. Good. Let me stop the recording and take quick attendance now. <laughs>